Right, I am I'm a little bit stuck right now. So what I do when I have a bug and I and I can't quite pin down what's causing it, I make the feature that's broken uh, simpler. So I take out compo take components out until I have a working feature again, and then I gradually add them back in. And then each one that I add back in, I'm I'm tweaking to to fix it. Um, gosh, there's a lot of different ways to be stuck, but if I'm writing something that has a lot of calculation and somehow it's not coming through the way I expected, sometimes it's best just to start over. But there can be something powerful about starting again with a blank slate and rewriting something. Sometimes when I get stuck in the development process because I'm frustrated or I, I just don't really, I can't see how to get from where I am to where I want to go, um, I find the smallest possible thing that I know I can get done and I just go after that. And a lot of times, just closing that tiny little gap, that easy chore that had to be done, is enough to just sort of get you going again. So when I get stuck, it kind of depends on the mood or the reason. Uh, a lot of times I get stuck because I'm just using poor debugging practices and being lazy instead of actually digging through the debugger and finding out what's wrong. Other times, if it's more of an inspiration thing, I'll just go for a walk, get out, side, get away from the computer for a while, and then come back to the project. So when I get stuck, my first instinct is to go to the team that I'm working with. Uh, I find that everybody has different skills and different expertise, and leveraging that is to your benefit. So a quick, hey, have you seen this before? Do you have a fix for it? Is, is always worth a try. Barring that, I go to Google, and Normally, it, it spits out something like stackoverflow.com, but sometimes it also goes to the app, Apple documentation. And just carefully reading the methods that are provided to you, the properties that are provided to you, and trying to find a way around the problem instead of through the problem can often help fix your bug.